I'm going to do something that multiple nogasm is terrible at doing. Okay. I'm going to let the audience know I may not be here for the next two weeks. Oh. Beforehand. You're going to let us know too, because I didn't know that. (laughs) That does make sense though. Luke's finally been sectioned. Welcome to Multiple Nerdgasm with your hosts, Matt, Luke, and Dan. Multiple Nerdgasm, your guide to all things nerdy. (laughs) No, I don't know. It's, it, it depends because I go in the hospital next Saturday. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. Mm-hmm. I figured that And I'm was in why. for seven days, so I don't mm. know. Seven days. Ooh, like the ring. Mm. <laughs> what time I go in, yeah, where right. I am. Okay. Uh, you, can you take your Xbox in with you? Um, I can't take Xbox. I, can, I have my. I can bring um, you the Switch. No, he I've doesn't got want my, that. Um, he doesn't want <laughs> that. I've got my. I can take you my. You got your I've Windows got, phone? Uh, I got my. Windows Phone doesn't work anymore. <laughs> they Microsoft abandoned it finally. Now I've got my I've got an Alienware laptop and then I've got oh, yeah. my AO Neo. Mm-hmm. Oh, of course also. you do that thing, yeah. So like my, Steam my, Deck my to Switch the power of ten, I will play. Yeah. And then listeners, I don't know, listeners, do we talk about why you're going in? We don't have to on the show, but you've they're mentioned turning, it now. They're turning me off and on again. Is how I'm looking mm-hmm. at it. They're resetting my nerves. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I, there's a switch. Is there? I'm, I'm assuming it's the the right mm. at the back, the cere- cerebral cortex. There's just a switch. Mm-hmm. There's nervous system off. Mm. You wait one minute on. and then boot it back up. It's like with um, C3PO. You turn him back on and he goes, "Goodness gracious me!" Yeah, that's right. And and exactly starts, like what I'm imagining. And he just and he just plays his Xbox again. I always found it bullshit. Like when they say, "Oh, you have to unplug it and leave it unplugged for thirty seconds." Hey, you've unplugged. That's fine. Just switch it back on straight away. I've never waited that f- full 30 seconds or a minute that I've been told. You know why that is, right? There's reasons behind it. <laughs> Transistors are the reasons, but that's fine. We don't have to <laughs> I was about to say, Matt, is, you, is that your experience? <laughs> <laughs> Not with a human. I mean, with uh, electronics. <laughs> yeah. When you turn yeah. humans on, you know it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no, that's that's my problem. Has always been my problem is that I don't, Dan. Yeah. I have no idea. I'm oblivious. <laughs> no fucking idea. It's a, yeah. it's a miracle Until I'm married. years later, when they go, you know I had a big crush on you 30 years ago. Yeah. You're like, right. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Luke's the opposite. Well, he assumes everyone's attracted to him until they specifically tell him they're not. Mm. Seems to be working for me. Mm. So before it's we start recording... You. We mm. started talking about Andor because yes. you two have finally started watching it. Yeah. Mate, have I? Mm. Now, look, let, let's just preface this by saying Luke told us to watch this weeks ago. He yes. said we he would said, love it. He said it's actually good. We didn't yes. a lot of people disagree. It's not, like, it's not that mm. I didn't believe you, Luke. It's just that I'm really sick of Star Wars playing with my emotions. <laughs> yeah. I think the thing you need to understand now is... They're gonna be. Is he gonna make Star Wars for everyone? Yeah, yeah. So there's gonna be bits you don't like, and there's gonna be bits you like, and you just have to accept. You're that. so correct, Luke. That I was actually thinking when I was watching Andor that they almost need sub brands, and they need three of them. Mm. They need Star Wars for little kids, which is like the mm. Rebels, Clone Wars, etc. Then there's yep. Star Wars for teenagers, which is your mm. Book of Boba Fett. And all that garbage. And then there's Star Wars for adults, which is Mandalorian and or, as we've discovered. Uh, I know adults that liked Bob, Boba Fett in that too, though. I feel like Yeah, it's... sure. But some people are retarded and we won't want to hold that against them. <laughs> I got, I was watching it. So I thoroughly, I'm thoroughly enjoying Andor. Mm-hmm. I was mm-hmm. like, this is the Star Wars that I wanted. It's they not made, written they like a make Star it. Wars. That's the thing. No, I wonder if... It's like a normal Did they just TV tell show these guys that it wasn't a Star Wars and then at the end put the logo on it? Like, this yeah, is so were, naturalistic. S- there were scenes where there's just, like, interesting characters talking about yeah. them, their just lives. Stuff. And just stuff. Like, like that one guy who's like, yeah. stay the fuck away from my girlfriend. <laughs> yes. <laughs> or that... Yeah. Well, oh. I also like it, like, even... They do throw some characters in from... The main yes. and stuff, but they're not. No, I'm happy they're with not that. Trying to, they're it's, not it's, trying to jam Darth Vader or Obi Wan or mm. anything down no, your throat or anything like scale. that. No, it's smaller scale. It's smaller people. Not everybody is smaller like people. Yoda, for example. Fate of the world is in their hands. Yeah. Literally, the chosen one. Everyone's related to one another. All the other shows is yeah, exactly. 
Whereas this is just little people in the universe doing their thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fucking love it. So and I was yeah. thinking, like, is it like I liked Mando season one pretty well? Mm-hmm. That was pretty good. Mm. And then Dave Filoni got mm. involved, mm. and mm. I was like, do I just not like Dave Filoni? Well, I mean, like, he's a I'm not that I don't dislike him as a guy. human. He, he loves but the do prequels. I not like his work? I think maybe I don't like his Star Wars stuff. Yeah, mm. and one thing that this has that Mandalorian doesn't have is real world locations. Like, yes, I believe this is happening. Whereas Mandalorian is all, it's not green screen. It's that fancy led screen, but it's the same. Mm. It's the same look as the green screen. Look, the first episode, which is sort of a big departure from any other styles is they're in a brothel and it's not like, (laughs) Oh, you know, it's a brothel, but they're not going to say it. They actually call it a brothel. brothel. And like, there's this, there's scenes where fucking Stellan Skarsgård walks out, Onto like this beautiful, like you know, North England, Scottish mm. looking countryside. He's standing on a hill, having a think. Yeah, and it's like a long shot, like a like a beautiful panoramic yeah. shot of him having to think about what's going on. It's like, oh, yeah, okay, nothing's blowing up. No, that's, that's right. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> they finally remembered that George Lucas made Star Wars because he loved Dune, mm. and then it's come so far away from them. They're kind of looping back around now. Yeah. And the, I, that does not to say the action in it's not good either. The action in it, I found, is very good because mm. it's more grounded and so far. And I wasn't disappointed. I thought they were going to make Cassian just like all-round good guy. No, cold-blooded no. murder, scene one, mm-hmm. episode one. Yep. Love it. Which, uh, I, no, I, I don't think that was cold-blooded murder. Warm-blooded murder. Um, it was still murder. That was... <laughs> He yes. shot a dude in the face. He was begging him not to the kill The guy him. was yeah, begging him. We don't have to tell him. We'll go in together. We'll say it was an accident. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. But that, that, that was the second murder. But, and that also, was second also murder. that yeah, was the first one was an accident. He was going to fucking turn him in for sure. No, I know yeah, that. But just the fact that he just looked at him and was like, nah, fuck it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yes. I've killed your mate. But I may as well kill you. Yeah, the second murder was on his mate. Like, it was your, because of your friend, you now have to die. Mm. Yeah, he had just walked away, solid snake style. Oh, no. oh, I'm sorry, I mean, guys. One of you has you, seen me. You could make a, a self defense argument about the first murder. Mm. First, sorry, the, the first one. death. The second one <laughs> might be difficult. I can understand mm. why he did it from his perspective, but oh boy, that's yeah. great. But that's what I, yeah, that's what I, correct. I like about it because they're not showing why they're not trying to make him out. He's a no. good guy or anything because he wasn't a good guy. Mm. No. Also. It, this must be filmed in England, right? This is so British. It is so incredibly it's, British. It's directed by a guy who worked, who did Doctor Who episodes. He worked on Black Mirror. Sure. And I'm almost, I'm, I'm sure it's a British guy based must on that. Be, must so, be. So yeah, probably. It's so I, I British. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's like Wind in the Willows level British. No, it's, it's, it's great. I like the fact that there's already a second season. Yes. I was worried about that too, because right, I'm watching it. And I'm like, oh, I do love this. And then and I'm like, oh, wait. No one else is watching this mm. because everyone thinks Star Wars that's is shit the thing, now. Yeah, and I looked online, but, and that's what everyone was saying. So I'm glad. The, the well, that's literally what some listeners said they, directly to me. They're like, "Please watch this." They could be. They you could honestly have. They could do five seasons of this because there is there's an end point. There's no yes cliffhanger. This is just all to lead up to Rogue One. Yeah, I was about to say maybe we so, can find out what happens to him after Rogue One, but no, you we can't. <laughs> No. Oh no, yeah, they could retcon that. Cannot. They Not could they could subtly make him a Jedi, and then and now no. he's one with the Force. I have no one in this is a Jedi. Space. I have no one in this is a Jedi. That's mm. oh, you, and even when it, the the moment that I knew this was right was when for me anyway was when mm-hmm. you know there's that private security force mm-hmm. that's like keeping tabs on that planet because the Empire is just like ah oh, fuck it we can't keep. Tabs mm. on everything, so they've just got this private company looking at it, and the boss is like, "Mate, let it go. We don't want the empire <laughs> yeah. and fucking around. Just let it go." I was like, "This is excellent." Yeah. And yeah. I love that scene because he was like, "You know, it's like you're not worthy to wear the uniform." By the way, have you modified your uniform? And he's like, yeah. "I may have done some light <laughs> tailoring." <laughs> yeah, and he's like, "But they killed two officers," and he's like, "Yeah, and we need to forget about it. Otherwise, yeah. it's going to be a huge." It was a pain tragic accident, yeah. right? Now sit yeah. down and I- do the paperwork. Yeah, you don't want to deal with this. Yeah. And then he was right. He yeah. was fucking right. Well, I don't know oh, how so right he was yeah. yet, so calm down. All right. No, but no, it's, yeah, the first three episodes, I think the reason why I th- I see them differently is they were all released at the same time, mm. and I think it's because that's oh. definitely one sort of story. 
It does seem and like it I've noticed. Who's on? I could be wrong about this. I think the first three were directed by somebody, and so far the next three have been directed by somebody else. That's mm. I noticed that, and I and you're right. The tone has been a little different, and it's kind of like the story moves a little jump, mm. possibly every three episodes, which is mm. yeah. cool. And, yeah, and so, and yeah, I do want to just say I say different, not no bad or no no. I know what you mean. I know what different. You mean. Yeah, mm-hmm. slight yeah. slight tone shift. No, I've. I've loved every episode so far. There's not a mm-hmm. single episode I disliked. So I like I think, that there's I think no all out now as well. There's no hero shots, you know, like mm. there's no bits where Disney are telling me I need to find this very cool, you know. No, it just no. is very good, and I'll figure that mm-hmm. out on my own by watching it. You don't have to. Even the world feels more like what I want Star Wars to be. Like there's a scene where I don't know if you've seen. Scars guy in a year. How many? You've just seen. No, I haven't. But you know, he's in it, right? Yeah, I do. There's literally just a scene where he's on a little shuttle thing and it lands, and it's it's coming to land, and there's this like stair robot that's like the stairs, right? And it's like Mm. lumbering along, kind of stumbling, and it's all a bit shit. (laughs) Yeah, and it like comes up to the. And I was just like, his little unit, his little robot is shit as well. I loved that. Yeah, it's like he doesn't have the best robot. He can't afford a good robot like that. Yeah, yeah. He can afford a robot that stutters. No, it's not like. I feel like the prequels were all like everything's shiny and, mm. and like and I clean, see why they did that because dirty. because he he being Lucas Lucas thinks oh Star Wars is all grimy because of the Empire mm. so before the Empire it was beautiful but it's like well mm. no no like the Doesn't Empire were law and order for its for a time mm. it wasn't mm. anyway. We don't have and, to talk about it. And the whole him. idea is like the, 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 the rebel ships were meant to be grubby because they were meant to be second hand and stuff like mm, that. Sure. But where were they, these second hand ships in the prequels? They yeah. were all these shiny when they were new. ships. Yeah, correct. <laughs> yeah. Not only that, the characters in this are interesting. They have interesting motivations. They're not just like stereotypes. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I archetypes. feel like Boba Fett, there were no characters that I was like, oh, his backstory is interesting. I just didn't. I, don't, no. I couldn't tell you anything about any of those you characters. No, you're right. In fact, no. I don't know their names, and you could only describe them as, like, yeah. the sassy sidekick, the crime right. boss. Oh, I'm just remembering the Scooter Gang again. Oh, don't even. Oh, exactly. Oh, you mean the but mods? But even, like, characters like, you know, that, the, mods. The, the, the boyfriend, mm. right, that you mentioned yeah. earlier, right? Mm. Like, I could tell you stuff about him. He's, yeah. You know, he's a bit jealous. He's yeah. a bit, like... They could, have, know, they could make a whole episode where you find out more about him, and, and he's, yeah. he's a real character. Like... They yeah they exactly they feel like real people not mm. nonsense characters yeah and yeah, just I, I like these just keep it to the level of influence that you have from other movies like you got I think I think you know Mon Moth Miles in it yeah mm. so not but a huge that's, spoiler that's, I think everyone knows no that's, no I knew that's that. the sort of level you want you know we don't want Darth Vader and yeah, stuff yeah. walking around you don't need that but not just only keep that to- she's she's in it but. Again, this is not a spoiler, but she's a senator in it, and she's doing mm. interesting things that we haven't seen in Star mm. Wars before. Like we're not mm-hmm. watching her do, you know, fight, you know, robots or anything like that. She's living a life in the Star Wars that we haven't seen before. Even this is not a spoiler. Either. There's a scene where we see somebody go to an apartment on the lower levels of Coruscant, mm. and I was instantly I thought, "Fuck, I've never seen this before." Yeah, yeah. Like this is what the lower levels of Coruscant are like. That's. And also, interesting. Star Wars characters seem a little bit too self-aware that they're living in the exciting part of time, whereas sure. everyone's just living in the most recent part of the future, i.e. the mm. present, at all times. Mm-hmm. Like, people in the medieval era didn't go, oh, we're here back in the med- medieval era. They thought they were at the, <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. It's like well, um, imagine living. Like, imagine living a hundred years ago. How shit would have that yeah. been? Yeah. Anyway. Well, do you remember? I, was, <laughs> I, hope your play I, gets I rewatched. Um, I, I watched the. Oh, we didn't talk about this. I watched the third season of Norseman, which I oh, yeah. had not seen for some reason. I watched the first two seasons and left the third. The third um, one's the prequel. Yeah, which right? is actually mm, season yeah. zero. Yeah. Prequel, but then I'd forgotten where all the jokes landed, so I went and watched seasons one and two again, so that I got all the dramatic irony from season three. Sure. Um, but I love that they keep making reference to like, oh yeah, here in the Viking times. And there's this one bit where he's he's bringing um, <laughs> weapons to uh, to the new warrior, and he's like, oh, here's the latest in sword. <laughs> like- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
That was such a good show. Yeah. It's a shame they stopped making it. That guy who puts horns on his helmet for the first time and they're like, what are you doing, mate? And he's like, oh, I, don't I think it's going to catch up. Cool. And they're like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think that's going to catch up, mate. <laughs> yeah. So good. So good. Yeah. But I love it even like in that third season because, you know, in the, in the first episode of the first season, they've just come back from battling in England. And, yeah. mm-hmm. and that guy's not keen on having his wife be... Yeah, part of it, and they're like, you know, we we knew she'd get in in the killing and pillaging, but we just did not know that she was gonna get into the raping so much. And it was it's kind of a throwaway gag, but in the third season, you just see her rape a bunch of dudes <laughs> to death. Yeah, yeah. On the one hand, I can see why it got cancelled, mm. but it makes me sad. Yeah, because mm. it's so funny. But also, I don't think I don't know where they could go. Mm. Because- yeah, that's fair. Yeah, they've done they it. They've of, done it. Th- they've done it. They killed off one of the main characters, and mm. yeah, I, I think they. But I, that's what I loved about number three is that I, I liked the chief in the first season who they yes. killed. Spoilers, oh, yeah, but good. then number three, they brought him back because it's a prequel. I thought that was a great yeah. way of bringing back old characters. Great. Yeah, I love him when in the first episode his where he's how like, to "Have sex." Yeah. <laughs> That's right. And at first, the brother thinks that he's going to fuck him. And he's like, just to be clear, you and I will never have sex with one another. <laughs> but in the so first good. episode where the brother's trying to get invited to the drinks and the, and with an mm. absolute deadpan, the chief goes, I think I heard someone say three, two, one, no one else can come. And um, <laughs> yeah. we can't go back on that or that'll end up just being something someone says and not a binding law. Yeah. It's so funny. I still like the fact that they, they filmed that show twice. Yes. Once in English and once in... Yeah. I almost didn't believe that, and I had to go and watch evidence of that, which exists on <laughs> YouTube. Evidence. Yeah. Like, yeah. I was like, no, yeah. it's too funny in English. This couldn't possibly be a translation. Mm. It, it worked. But yeah, I love that show. And if you haven't seen it, I recommend going oh, and watching it. 100%. Yeah. Awesome. It's, a, it's an Very easy funny. show to go back and watch Super as well. Easy. It's Because it's... Yeah. Very Short funny. episodes. But actually, I derailed this, but I was trying to make a point about Go on. Andor. Mm. Was that Star Wars characters are too aware that they're part of some bigger story. Whereas sure. everyone is actually just going about their fucking life. You get yes. up, you brush mm. your teeth, you go to work. And this that's what this is. You see dudes literally going to work. Yeah. Yep. And, and trust me... You- you you've said that. Wait till you see further on, okay. and you really do see that even more. Yep. Yeah, I didn't want to. I don't want to spoil anything. Great. And 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 for me, it's it's great. It's what I. It's the stuff I want to see in Star Wars. Not mm-hmm. more of the same high stakes, mm. silly, mm. you know, over the top stuff. Just more of this, this like I hope small realize- scale stories about characters in the world. Yeah. Hopefully they will realize this time they they can just have st- stories set in the Star Wars universe. They don't need yes. to have Darth Vader doesn't have to be in this. No, no, no Jedi. The problem is, I guarantee you, for every person saying this, there's a person saying, "Where's Darth Vader?" Like, mm. I, I yeah. think Star Wars is so much to so many people. There's no one thing they can do, which is why they're not doing one thing. They're just throwing spaghetti yeah. at the wall. But it's so ironic, I think, that we want Star Wars to be very adult when we mm. watched it as four-year-old kids and loved it because it was a kid's movie. Now, granted, kid's movies were a little deeper in the 80s than they are now, but mm. we just expected this movie to grow old steadily as we did, and mm. it it didn't. Um, but it's nice to see that it's coming back in some ways. Not only No Jedi, again, not really a spoiler, but I haven't seen a Stormtrooper in this yet. Sure. You know what? Hasn't hasn't bothered me. Don't mm. need to see yeah, it. No, that's right. But, and, and it's part of the fucking story. Like they've yeah. said, the Empire yeah. is... We're too far away for them to bother about. And if we start getting them involved, yeah. we lose our authority. We have to start... Yeah. Yep. I mean, this yep. is me only seeing one episode, but still. No, no. You're right. That's... Yeah. Um. So I, I was happy to see that it's been successful enough that there's another season, which is good. Hopefully mm. we can get more people on board. Because like I said, this is the kind of stuff that I want. I want... From Star yes. Wars, no, I don't know if anyone from Disney's listening or gives a shit, but yes, this is my Star Wars, thanks. Mm, mm. Appreciate it. Well, it's <laughs> like, stuff. do you remember in the Star Wars movie that we don't talk about now? Um, <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> the, middle, the one we say we don't talk about, one. but we have talked about incessantly? You mean The Last Jedi? Um, <laughs> yeah, The Last Jedi. 
Uh, wait, wait I, I get them. I think yeah, we may have talked last, about that the most. Last Jedi is the middle one, right? The middle, the middle <laughs> yes, sequel. The Ryan trilogy. Johnson. Yeah, Ryan Johnson. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. middle of the sequel. That's what I think of. See, this is the thing. They're, why is that called The Last Jedi? The third one should be called The Last Jedi. You know what I mean? Like, the names don't even. Well, because Luke yeah, was supposed to be why. The Last Jedi, but then yeah, they but yeah, wasn't, back on it because uh, no one liked it. Yeah. No one liked it. That's, but that's what I mean. Like, would have been. there's not even. They're not even memorable names. I don't even remember the third one, which I haven't even watched a second time. I barely mm. know what that's even fucking called. Anyway, what Rise I'm saying, Skywalker. Skywalker, in the second mm-hmm. one, where there's that off-world sequence where they talk about third parties profiteering from the wars. Yes. Yep. And they don't lean into it; they just mention it. And it's like that. That's what I want that to see a movie about. Yeah. This is almost analogous to that. Yeah, totally. Yeah, instead of just yeah, when they went to, to the casino mm. planet, ninety yeah, percent of yeah. which was awful, awful stuff. Oh no, that's just reminding me of how terrible hyperspace is now. Don't worry, it doesn't. It, 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 they haven't. I mean, so far it hasn't been a problem for Andor. So who cares? I'm just remember that chase. Ignore the Star the Star Trek can't catch up, but we can. Still take this ship and fly over there, yeah. and then come back, and then get back. But to they it. can't catch up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't have the fuel. Luke. They just don't have the fuel. Well, look, Gary Witter mm. has come out this week. He was a co-writer on um, Rogue One, which yes. is obviously this mm. Andor as a as a spin-off of of sorts, or a mm-hmm. prequel to. And he's come out this week and said, uh, you know, he's obviously enjoying Andor, and he said, well, actually, years ago. My Rogue One co-writer, Chris Weitz, and I had a cool idea for a TV se- series about a Mossad-style rebel team hunting down Imperial war criminals who disappeared after the fall of the Empire. Yes, please. <laughs> Fucking would <laughs> yes. watch one hundred percent. Yeah, it's essentially Munich, but with these like, fucking yes. dudes looking for. Yeah, that might be. I mean, that might be a bit too on the nose just for people for Disney. I don't know, but I would watch the shit out of that. Like, like that's, it reminds me of that scene in um, X-Men First Class where Magneto goes to that little pu- uh, pub in Bavaria and uh, and he's talking to those ex-Nazis. Remember, yes. Do you remember that scene? It's just a really good scene. I mean, he's only, I mean, he's hunting Nazis at the start of that movie, but mm. yeah, it's just like stuff like that, but Star Wars. Yes. <laughs> That'd yeah. be cool. I, I, I still reckon a great show would be the Star Wars Cross with Battlestar Galactica that I keep talking about. <laughs> just have flying around an X Men yeah. squadron. I mean, Andor feels more like Battlestar now that you mentioned mm. that. Actually, the new Battlestar, and I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, because oh, well, it's about they're character- going to do a new about characters and not, not just be- yeah. nonsense, yeah. Uh, not just events. Like, yeah, I was reading. You know, those the new Battlestar could come to yeah, it. I don't know about that. I mean, I'll mm. I'll take a look, oh. but. The uh, you know how there's those big coffee table books making of Star Wars, making of Empire Strikes Back, making yep. Return of the Jedi. Mm-hmm. So um, yep. I started reading the second one a little while back, um, and it just talked about how when he when Lucas started making Empire, he had to almost recast not recast rehire the entire crew for Industrial Light and Magic because everyone in the model shop, the painters, the everyone was on Battlestar Galactica. You know oh, the right. original show, which was a ripoff yeah, yeah. of Star Wars, and in fact, it was yeah. it was originally just called Battlestar, and then George Lucas sued them um, and said too close to just have two oh, yeah, words. Star Wars, Battlestar, yeah. good point. <laughs> and uh, and so they added the, the Galactica and made it sound less okay. like a direct ripoff. But almost all the special effects guys from New Hope were now working on that show. It's. Um- Amazing what sort of came from mm. industrial like magic. Like Photoshop mm. came from from Star Wars, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Like the, all this stuff that was basically built and these people went on to go from working on Star Wars, but go on to create so many things. That's why George Lucas is still rich. <laughs> yeah. I also love that Spielberg is rich because of Star Wars as well. I don't know if everyone knows this, but um, they when Lucas had made Star Wars, but it hasn't come out yet, and... Steven Spielberg had made Close Encounters, but it hadn't come out yet. Uh, Lucas was crying that his movie wasn't going to make any money. And Spielberg says, mm. I bet it makes 10 times what my movie makes. <clears throat> and so they said, well, let's make a bet. I'll give you one point at the back end of my film for one point at the back end of your film. So that if one of yeah. us does well and the other one doesn't, we're still taken care of. And I think Spielberg has made a billion dollars <laughs> since then 
just yeah. on his one back end point from that Not bad. conversation. Not bad. Because, yeah, he was hard up for money. <laughs> <laughs> he might have been back then. He's I think, well, I, actually, I he think. He might have been back then. No, because Jaws had already come out. I think Spielberg yeah. was the first ever director, film director, to make a million dollars. Like to become, oh, really? uh, to become a millionaire from, from one film, I think. Some, hmm. Something along those lines. So wait, all I got to do is make one film. Yeah, because when I was a kid, I was like, that's yeah. all you got to do. You just got to make minute. one movie. You've made one film. You've yeah. done. You've made Where's one. Where's my million dollars? <laughs> yeah. A million dollars isn't what it used to be too. I'm in debt more than a million dollars at this point. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to have a whinge this week because I, I, I told you guys I bought a new car. Or I'm mm. in the process of buying a new car. And I've had some, hit some snags with that just due to the holiday weekend. I can't ah. get certain paperwork or whatever so mm. it's there's mm-hmm. like, it's going to be some complication i was going to whinge and about it and i was like waiting and i was going to be like oh, it's dan doesn't want to hear yeah, this shit. three days without a car <laughs> man wow yeah no not even i've still got the old car <laughs> it just doesn't work very well it's mm-hmm. just a slight hassle with getting the new one yeah. i was like yeah you know what i'll shut up yeah so you're going from one german machine to another you're going from bmw Correct. to volkswagen Yes. Yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah. But Very and you nice. You get to get one of those big machines. Yeah, he's getting the Atlas. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So in theory, yeah, yeah, Volkswagen Atlas. And in theory, uh, if all goes to plan, I'm going to go pick it up from one of those Carvana vending machines mm. where you get this big novelty coin that you slot <laughs> no, in. You do not get a big novelty I'm coin. Get, don't worry. I'll yes. film, I'm going to be filming the whole Please. fucking thing. Don't you worry about it. Yeah. I was. I'm so excited. So yeah. Apparently, you put this coin in, and then it like. Gets your car out of this vending machine. Wow. So. Wow. It, it's 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 silly, but if you had a, if you're going to buy a new car and you had a choice between pick it up from the lot and using a giant well, coin to get out of a vending machine, I know what I'm doing. The options are deliver it to my house, which would be all right, except but it doesn't have I a giant choose the vending coin. machine anyway. Yeah, know, like right? even if they they don't deliver here because mm. I'm in the middle of nowhere, but even if they did, I might still have chosen to go oh, pick yeah. it up yeah. from the vending yeah, machine. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Um, what what year model is it? 2021. Nice. That's very yes. new. Mm, should be good. Hopefully it's good. I don't want any car Speaking hassles. Speaking of millionaires. What's that? Oh, I can, I can afford. <laughs> <laughs> I think cars are cheaper here. I yeah. wouldn't go that far. Mm-hmm. They're definitely cheaper here. If that's what you think. I'm uh, I'm hiding yeah. from my neighbors at the moment because like, we're all moving in at the same time, right? So people are taking advantage of the bins a little. They're being a bit more laissez-faire <laughs> with the bins than they normally would be, right? Well, what are they doing with No, them? no, no. Just like uh, everyone's uh, got... Uh, are, are you or is it everyone? Well, no, no, but every... Okay, so everyone is to a point, right? <laughs> but then I... So there's gardens in my grounds that aren't what I want. So I've dug up an entire hmm. garden and I'm going to replant oh. it. But I've filled one and a half bins with just the wood chips I took out of my existing garden and I'm just okay. <laughs> pretty sure I'm not meant to have that much bin space of the existing bins. Now there's plenty. Oh, I see. Oh, you have like okay, a shared so, bin. Yeah, we've area. got um we've got a row of bins for everyone along my little strip. Okay. Oh, yeah, and everyone would be entitled to one bin. I don't even think it works out at one each. I think there's probably one or two less than the number of houses there are because they're not... Oh, that's weird. Because otherwise it would just be one that's each. That's what you pay rates for. Yeah, but the the bins in our area... I don't know if it's like this in Queanbeyan, but the bins in our area, to try to get you to recycle more, the recycling bins are full-sized and the general yeah, rubbish bins are slightly like smaller. Whereas yeah. mm. in our complex, all the bins are the same size. So they're all the large sizes. So there's not it's not just a one to one ratio for the houses. I was like that, but we don't have a, a you know, greens mm. bin. And mm. normally they say on the on the Coventry website that you can just put bags of leaves and bundles of sticks and stuff out of the road and they have a someone will, the, the people come by and pick it up. Okay. Except I put a bunch of shit up there mm. when we first moved in. And it just sat there. And it just, sat, just sat there. Sat there. Mm-hmm. It just sat there for months. And I was like, maybe it's because it's winter. No. No. And so I called them and then they said, oh, where are you? And I gave them the address and they said, oh, people out there usually just throw that stuff into the woods. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, well, yeah, I guess I probably just should have done that. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, fair point. Mm-hmm. I just thought I was, yeah. you know. I'd, yeah, it's yeah. leaves and shit, throw it in the woods. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I guess I can do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just thought I was doing the right thing. 
I've been fucking sick this week. I don't know if you can tell. If I apologize if I'm slightly You haven't stuffy. finally gotten I've, COVID, have you? No, apparently not. I've gotten something from Lyra's daycare. She oh, got sick yeah. and then oh. Jenna got oh, sick and then I got sick. Oh, welcome to never not being sick again, Matt. I was so yeah. sick mm. this week that I actually had to take half a day off mm-hmm. work, which I have not done in so long because when you work from home, like taking time off sick feels yeah. weird. <laughs> yes. Because yeah. it's like- I'm just going to be here anyway. Yeah. Like, I'm just not going to do anything. And then no one no one knows that I'm not really doing my 100% of what I could be doing. But mm. like, I just I just felt so shit. And I was just like, I don't want to be sick. I'm to bed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. And so it's the first time in a very long time I've taken a sick day. It's because, like I said, working at home, that's the disadvantage is that it just feels like mm. I'm already at home. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I feel the other disadvantage with working from home is you have to really prove you've been working. Whereas if you're in the office, you just turn up and people go, you've done the bare minimum <laughs> just by being here. Yeah, if you're here. there, that's it, tick. Yeah, that's right. Whereas at home, yeah. I feel like I have to be like, because I'll go and what do things doing? around the house, but then I'll yeah, go, yeah. oh shit, I haven't, people might wonder what I've been doing for the last 40 minutes, you know, sure. while I'm collecting bark chips from my garden and putting them in the bin. <laughs> Well, that's what I mean. I was so, like, I was just so not just head stuffy and whatever. And I was working on this, working on some code and I'm just staring at it. Mm. And then I realized, and I'm like, I'm not getting anywhere with this. And it's not anybody else's fault. It's just because I'm just, I'm not well. I'm just staring mm. at these lines of code getting nowhere. Your brain like, is fogged gonna... over. Yeah. And it's like I said, it's the cold, first the, time that the I've- The three worst colds I've ever had in my life, I all had this year. And they were all ones mm. I caught off of Harper that she brought home from daycare, which affected Great. her for a night- and then she was fine mm-hmm. again and took me out for a week. I had I had four days off work. I'm like you, Matt. I almost never take yeah. days off. I had four consecutive days off work. Yeah. Well, especially I feel like too, if I'm sick, right? And if I have to go into the office, mm-hmm. if I'm sick, I feel like, oh, I don't want to be in the office like coughing. Yeah, and sneezing, yeah. It's hard. You know, like it's kind for of stuff. them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Whereas if I'm here, I'm like, oh, fuck it. I'll just keep working. Yeah. Like yeah. no one, no one. Like you're not annoying anyone with your cough because no one can hear it. Mm. Yeah. And then, and also I feel like I've got to be really sick because if, so, if if I say, oh, I might take some time off my boss is like, oh, I'm going to call you and I want to hear you sounding sick on the phone. Like, yeah, yeah it's weird. <laughs> so yeah, thanks. Uh, Next day care. Well, I think you've only got to, that's just going to be the rest of your life for the next, what, 10 years? They just keep bringing stuff home. Within. I think eventually their immune system mm. kicks in, takes care of that. She stopped uh, it's first crying years, incessantly in the mornings and when we get home from daycare. That was a weird thing, too. Was She gets sad when she has to go, mm. but then she gets sad when she has to leave. <laughs> I was like, What's that about? <laughs> Make up your mind. And then I was like, well, I'm, I'm sure she's even more confused than I am. So yeah. I guess I'll just try and comfort her. We're lucky, yeah. actually. She was like that only ver- at the very, very start. And then you know, she yeah. loves She It loves started going. to get normal. Yeah. Now she, get when she it. has to go there in the morning, she starts going, play, play. Oh. Like, yes, that is yep. what you're going to do. So. Nice. Does yours it's send you house, photo yeah. updates uh, during yeah, the day? Yeah, how cool is that yeah, shit? Yeah, it's great, right? Yeah, we have an app. Yeah, it's all, yeah they send photos and stuff mm. like that. I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, every time they change her, every time she eats something. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that's really cool. Yeah, when, yeah. They, when, when she sleeps so that you can plan yes. when to put her to bed and stuff that night. I know, like the first day she was there, they put her down for a nap around the time that we would. Mm. And then they said that she woke up two hours later, which is normally what would happen. And mm. I was like, fuck off. <laughs> There's no way she went to bed for you yeah, that easily. Yeah, yeah, and slept that but whole time, and then just got up. I mean, apparently that's what's happening. So, mm. oh my, oh, that's a lot of work. My guys the other but day told me that um, when Harper doesn't want to sleep, she doesn't want anyone else to sleep either, and make sure that nobody does. <laughs> that sounds like Luke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mm. if, if I'm staying up, everyone's staying up. Yeah, yeah, I mm. can't sleep. And so you'll have to wake up and entertain me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm just amazed about that's a lot of work that those people would be doing, like to take photos and updates and keep track like that. Mate, I should not be in charge uh, of a child. Looking after my kid mm. is stressful. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine looking after. I mean, what there's what like seven or eight of them. Yeah, there, and the, you don't love them. 
<laughs> you know, like half, the, half yeah. the stuff I do for Harper, I'm like, you're lucky I fucking love you. Yeah, Lyra, Lyra, she's being a little shit. And I'm yeah. like, I mean, I love you, so it's fine. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like when you say, don't do that. And she just looks at you and gives you, you know, you know the look. Oh, they give I you know that it. look where they're like, oh, I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> well, Harper rubbed me doing in my this face all the, other the time. Day. She went over to Charlie's food bowl started flicking it out and started going, no, no, no. Making fun of what I say when she does it. <laughs> well, uh, Lyra shakes her head now. Oh, yeah. She's learned to shake yeah. her head. And then so she'll be doing something and she's looking, look dead eyeball and you're going, you're going to say no. Yeah, Just shaking yeah. her head. Like, I'm fucking doing it, dad. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kids. Sick. Uh, the Witcher... Mm. Next gen update comes out December fourteenth. They've put a trailer out for it. Uh, I'm like, it's been a while. How many did you play this? Was this one that I bring in Henry Cavill in? <laughs> yeah, what? Henry Cavill's being brought into the game. Yeah, yeah. You can make him look like Henry Cavill it's if you want. Bad oh, timing for that. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, can you make him look like Luke Hemsworth? <laughs> <laughs> Liam, Liam Hemsworth. Oh, it's Liam, is it? You're gonna Luke Wilson. Luke. Can you make him look like Luke Wilson? <laughs> I'd love to make him look like Luke Wilson. Um, I just feel like, because I there was an article I put in the other week. We didn't, I don't think we talked about it, but it was talking about how Fallout 4 is getting a next gen update next year. Is it? And I was like, come on, come on, guys. <laughs> it's a bit late for that. Yeah. Just make Fallout 5, fuck yes. Yeah. yeah. Am I going to come back? So, I don't know. I, the Witcher 3 was very good. Well, Fallout 4 like, still looks I don't know good. if I'm going to go back to Do a next gen update now. on Fallout New Vegas so I can play that again on my Xbox oh. Series X. Yeah. That game's so good. But yeah, I just, I don't know. Witcher 3, love it, but I don't know. It's It's been a while. Every sure single day. Go back to it. I look at Witcher 3 in my wish list on my Switch and think, oh. should I play this on the Switch? <laughs> I did, when I first got my Switch, and I guess I still do it. I had like uh, Skyrim mm. on my wish list and a bunch of the games that I'm like, I already own all these games. And since then, I think I've bought all of them yeah. except <laughs> Witcher 3. Right. Witcher 3 so. is fairly cheap at the moment because of the sales. Actually, Sky, Skyrim's oh, yeah. still 100 bucks for the special edition. But Jesus. actually, you can save a little bit of money because the original Skyrim is only... 60 bucks and then pay for the upgrade and then it's 20 dollars for the upgrade so you can do that and still save a bit of money but it's still 80 dollars for for a a game that came out 11 year old game yeah which i own on at least three platforms already (laughs) yeah oh listeners i think we talked about this when i did it so they may be interested in this i bought my i have two xbox series x one of them i bought outright one of them mm. I did the Xbox All Access thing. Uh, I just paid that off and checked. And yes, the Xbox cost me 450 that's instead amazing. of 500 bucks. Yeah, that's am- and reason. that is exactly what you calculated it would going to be. Well, I guess they did that yeah. because now you've been paying them for three years instead of... I was going to pay them anyway, Danny. Mm. <laughs> the like, they could have got an extra 50 bucks out of it. The reason me. why you did it that way is because you couldn't get another one anywhere else. That was your yeah. No, no, exactly. There were only two. Yeah, exactly. I got lucky, right? No, no, but, but then I did the math and I was like, well, this makes sense anyway. But and you had so, to do that coupled, bundled with something else, right? That it was a subscription. It wasn't just... This, like, with, with Game Pass. Yeah. So that was a good way to keep you on Game Pass for three years. Yes. Yeah, I suppose. They didn't know that I was going to do that anyway. But mm. yes, good point. Because I do that with my coffee machine. I've got an espresso coffee machine and yeah. I got it for like a hundred bucks instead of 400 bucks because I subscribed oh. for, to get $50 yeah, not dollars money worth off of the coffee, machine. coffee they're making money off. over. Yeah, that's right. So every, yeah, every right. month I have a standing order of coffee. And because of that, I get the machine for next to nothing. Because the profit on coffee is ridiculous. But you're not going to stop drinking coffee. Exactly. You're, addic- you're addicted. And like I'm not going to stop drinking so. this coffee either, man. I used to think that those pods yeah. were garbage, and it turned out that I was just drinking the garbage supermarket brands. When you buy the Nespresso <laughs> ones, which are like a dollar sure. each, it is yeah. fantastic. Now, my mom has that. We are drinking that when we were there. We have... Um, coffee's different here. Mm. So I I have a Ninja drip coffee machine oh, maker yeah. that I, I like, but... Um, I like American coffee. Everyone here has it. Yeah. I like that drip well, coffee. No, I me like too. the drip coffee it's as well. Yeah. yeah. You just don't, and just I like drinking it when I'm in America because it makes so me feel easy. American. 
Yeah. But in Australia, it's yeah. all fancy and milk and just give me coffee. <laughs> fancy and milk. Fancy and milk. That's <laughs> coffee in Australia. And we have a, we have a fancy a ass espresso machine. Jenna's mm. old boss bought it when we left the country. Uh, that, But it's just like... It's a, it's a bulky gift to give someone who's leaving the country. Not only that, it's Australian. <laughs> so we had to get oh, Jenna's dad, who luckily convert. is an electrician, yeah. to, to put in a, an outlet that can even operate this machine. And it's still not quite right because <laughs> mm. it's, it's um, I think, 50 hertz instead of 60 hertz. So mm. it's... Anyway. But it's... I rarely use it because like a little pod machine. It's just so convenient. Yeah. Well, speaking of Xbox, have you been playing any mm. more of Pentiment? I've been playing as much Pentiment as I can because mm. I'm addicted. Mm. To so it. jealous. Much I as I'm have, a caffeine addict, I'm a Pentiment. I've downloaded it, but addict. I've not had time to boot the Xbox back up. It is right. It's it's a lot of reading, and it's it's like not. I wouldn't have thought on paper that I would be as interested in the setting as I am. It is, and because it's not. Um, I mean, it's literally about monks and fucking peasants mm-hmm. in this Bavarian village and the social dynamics and political shit going on, right? Mm. So it's it's like, I mean, it, it is interesting, but I wouldn't have thought I'd be super interested in it <laughs> on paper. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But but I'm I'm playing it. And the, even the other day I was like, oh, I kind of want to play some more Arkham Knight, mm. but I'll, I've, this is running. So I'll oh, just are you playing play Arkham Knight at this. the moment, are you? Well, I was. Okay, yeah, sure. I was. Yeah. <laughs> and, but then I was like, I'll just play a little bit more Pentiment because I just remembered where I'm at with that. And then suddenly it was like f- six hours later. It, it was midnight and I was like, oh, I've got to go to bed now. Mm-hmm. So I, I, have it's you really seen, good. Uh, it re- it, have you seen the 80s movie, The Name of the Rose? With I know, yeah. I know of it. Uh, I, Sean, with Connery Sean Connery. And, and uh, yeah. a very, very young Christian Slater. But it's like murder, I think I saw it when I was a kid. It reminds yeah. me of... Of that a little bit, but it's very good. I saw this described as Cad Fail, the game. Sure. Which Cad Fail is the series of novels about a monk who solves murders. Mm-hmm. So that's um, see, I think we're just on the cusp of being that age where we start reading serials about <laughs> monks committing. I do and have the murders. first Cad Fail book yeah. now yeah. because Kindle. Of course, you do. I, Amazon's Amazon's shifty. I don't know how they do this. They'll just send me an email and they'll go, "Cad Fail, you know that for five bucks if you want." Yeah, it's like you sons of bitches. And yeah. yeah. Anyway, Pentiment, great. Luke, you uh, won't I, like I, it. I, Dan, I would like it. I think if Dan, I you'll get you'll get fucking sucked it. right in on this. If it was yeah. Twenty years yeah. ago, I'd probably love it, but I can't read anymore. And that's there's mm-hmm. a lot of reading in this game. And it's not something you can and the thing with it is because you've got to work out what your answers are and yeah and not only that I I kind of want to I I wish I'd n- not known certain things oh you've oh, got some regrets but, yeah so when you play it just know that there is a time limit and you do have to make certain decisions and don't rush into anything mm. just be, so for example you can walk around the town in any given time period and talk to everybody and you have to do that. Just because someone says, do you want to have a meal with us? Having a meal with a group of people kind of shifted into the next time zone because it's going to take a mm-hmm. while. And mm. so I, I, there are certain points in the first act where I wish I could have gone back and just said, I'll come back. Yeah, let me go sure. finish then, talking to these people and then I'll come back and yeah, we'll eat. Because I'm not sure I was as thorough in the first act as I could have been. Mm. But at the end of the day, I don't think it matters because I'm still loving it and... Mm. Some stuff happened, but what? And from what I have heard, this is a game that, yeah, because because of decisions like that, you you can play this game again, and it will be different. Oh yeah, like, well, I wonder. I, that's why I'm, I was curious whether it's actually different, mm. or is it just that I'm going to f- uncover the actual truth? Mm. Because, like I said, things have happened where it's it's like we've decided this is how that played out, but uh, did it? Yeah, like that reminds me a little bit of the Sinking City. Which is the Lovecraftian sure. game on the same yeah, engine as the uh, Sherlock Holmes games? Yep. And I don't know if the Sherlock yeah, Holmes games yeah. are the same as this, Luke. But basically, if you are trying to solve a crime, because the whole thing is about you solving various crimes, whatever you decide is what happened. Right. So if you decided not quite good enough, then the answer was not quite as detailed as it could have been if you'd right. done a bit more research first. So um, the problem it's not is that the, with 
the, those games, especially like the short games, I actually just play through with a walkthrough so I can get all the achievements. So. <laughs> of course yeah. you do. Yeah. Oh, that sounds I enjoy really you do that with this, so. I'm sure. I still enjoy them. You it's can just, do that with this, how I'm I sure. play them. It's just like watching a movie. But that's kind of what I mean, though. There's a lot of suspects in this. And I just wonder if... Possibly even more suspects than I even uncovered. Mm. And I'm just wondering if, like, is it literally that the way that you play it determines who did it? Mm. Or is there a is there a truth mm. that I'm I'm and I'm wrong, but no mm. one knows. Sure. Right? Because no one's no one's ever gonna figure it out. Like I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know. The wood in the game in the I mean. bin. Because this made by using too much of the who, bin spaces. <laughs> this is made by a student who also they made New Vegas, didn't they? Yes. And, I love uh, Obsidian. Nice of the Old Republic too. <laughs> which is a fucking great game. And also, didn't they do um, The Outer Worlds? Yeah, I think they did. Yes, I think so. Now that you mention it. That was great as well. But this game is literally just walk around, talk to people, and read text mm. as you do yeah. so. There's no... So far, there's no action of any kind None. in this. There's no... Yeah, there's no, no gunfights and chase scenes. It's a... It's literally just talk to people. Yeah. Until you run out of time and then you have to make a decision about something and you're like, oh, fuck, I don't know. That one. And a little bit like uh, Disco Elysium in that you have sequences where you talk to various people inside your head like like, um, Socrates, (laughs) who's kind of got like a more logic-based opinion and then you've got like this court jester in there who's like, oh, just fuck it, just tell him to piss off. (laughs) Yeah, right. Gives you like, yeah, it's cool. That's great. I might um, give another try. Obsidian Except- also made the first of the South Park games, The Stick of Truth, oh. which was excellent. Oh, the good oh. one. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Which was essentially just Skyrim in South Park. But no, I think... Play Pentiment. If you like reading. I, I might give it another like reading, try. Don't play it. But I did just download Police Simulator. But there's also um, The Devil in Me, which is a new Dark Pictures game. Just play Sierra's Police Quest. From mm. 1989, that's a that's a great police. Release that Xbox and give me achievements, and I will. Hey, or Police Quest Two, Angel of Death. I mm. own them all. I think I also gave them to you, one of you guys. Yeah, I have them on GOG. Yeah. I have them on Steam. Yeah, so possibly that came from you. Yep. Yeah. I had I had the all the original boxes once in the distant past. Yeah, I wish I still had all those. Yeah. I had all the Quest for Glories. I don't know where oh, the boxes I love Quest for Glory. I lo- yeah. Those were great games. Oh, hold on. Where am I going? What am I doing? No, get back over here. I don't know. Right, back. Um, I'll just say this really one irritating thing, Microsoft, if you're listening. Um, please, please come out with an option to format for my ultra wide monitor because my Xbox is plugged into you. Oh, and it's, sure. it just yep. stretches. I don't want to stretch. I'd be happy to pillar box. So please. Please make allowances for that. Um, I think you can oh. do that. Mine, I had to fix it on the... On, luckily, my monitor allowed me to fix it. But uh, I, in the end, even that annoyed me. That's why I bought a, a cheap a separate, 4K TV. Yeah, and, right. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, that's just pissing me off. For the most part, you don't notice it. In fact, it's only really when there's text and the, the O's are oblongs. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. The games look better it's than right. the menu. The menu gives it away that you're watching it stretched. Yeah. All right. So, so we've finally got some more Indiana Jones news. Mm. Finally, after next week, last week rather. Yeah. <laughs> um, Matt got all Christopher Nolan there for a sec. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Indiana Jones Five has not been made yet. Oh, or has it? it has yeah. Or rather, yet. it will be. It will be. <laughs> <laughs> it's partially been made, I believe. Yeah. Um, so we get to see young Indiana Jones again. I'm interested to see how young. <laughs> oh, weird. <laughs> <laughs> no, but are we talking like he's going to be young compared to... like he's, They aged Har- like, they de-aged yeah, Harrison yeah. Ford back into a baby. Yeah. Yeah. How, how, no, how I, I want them to have shot with Harrison Ford, but to have mapped, did 3D mapped on River Phoenix's face so that it matches up with Last Crusade. Uh, I hope that they, they're, they're like, oh yeah, we've, we've finally perfected the de-aging technology and it is literally a baby Harrison Ford <laughs> with Harrison Ford's face on, on it yeah. yeah 
<laughs> and Harrison Ford's old man face, like this is Benjamin yeah. Button. <laughs> Don't call, don't call me Junior. I uh, I think I'd be surprised if they've de-aged him much past where we've already seen him. In fact, it makes more sense. Yeah. This is set in the late 60s now. That's where we're up to in chronology. And yeah. Yeah. I would be surprised if they didn't just... If It'd be 40s. Fill in some of the gaps, yeah, f- after mm. Raiders or something. Well, this might tie in. So the other news this week is that Phoebe Wallerbridge plays his goddaughter. Okay. In this. So whose daughter and is she? Marcus uh, Brody's sure. goddaughter. Uh, daughter. Could be. I'm trying yeah, to think that would of make who, sense. Who, yeah. Who would have made? But I wonder Indy if the we'll godfather. just see. We'll see back to whenever that happened. Mm. Probably, which would be. I mean, how old's Phoebe Waller-Bridge? Like twenties, oh, thirties. Thirties, so. I'd say. Yeah. So maybe we'll see him thirty years younger than he is now. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of Marcus Brody. Um, Denim Elliott, who plays him, is actually one of my favourite mm. British character actors. And he's in yeah, so right. much that you just, you don't really realise, but he's always so good. Yeah. But I found out, died of AIDS. Did he? Yeah, we always joke about people dying of AIDS. Denim Elliott actually did die of AIDS. Oh, and we missed it. When did that happen? Oh, in the 90s. <laughs> oh. Back when, <laughs> back when yeah. people of his persuasion were dying of AIDS in, in record numbers. It's persuasion, well, actors... <laughs> Yes, entertainers. <laughs> what else is he in? Oh, he is in lots yeah, of stuff. Yeah, he's just one of those that? actors that was just in everything. Yeah, and now uh, we know him mostly as Marcus, but like since then I've watched a lot of old mm. movies and I'm like, oh, there he is again and he's great. There you go. But he would have been Geek of the Week unless, Luke, do you have a rule against dying of AIDS? No, there's no rule against it. He could have been Geek <laughs> I mean, of the Week if he had died. Geek of the Week. Well, it would ruin the joke, right? If we said that he died of AIDS and he did. I know. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, so, oh, we can't actually die of AIDS. Yeah. I mean, I've, there's a couple of geeks of the week to, to throw out this week. Oh, if, yeah. you, if you want to right. take well, a quick segue have? to that Go now. On. Looking at the finish list, off the I episode. know none of these people. Oh, I, I, I can disqualify one right off the bat. <laughs> I know, right. I know. Well, do you want to yeah. start there? Should we start there? Sure. This is somebody I've seen yeah. uh, oh. fairly recently. He does a lot of cons. Is that where you saw him? He oh. does. He has a very, very long line. Does all he? All the cons. He was the most popular Power Ranger, and that's uh, Jason David Frank. He wasn't my most favorite. Power I'll tell you that. The pink one was my favorite. See, I don't know quietly. a lot about Power Rangers. But yeah, oh yeah. I, I I remember watching like the first season. Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, Green sure Power Ranger that. Jason David Frank um, mm. has has passed, but uh, Luke he 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 uh, he he, he get, broke get, one get of your work. your rules. Yeah. 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 Your rules and the good Lord's rules. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So we'll be He's burying not, him face they down. They couldn't bury him on the church grounds, <laughs> yeah. let's just say that's that. Right, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, he has taken his own life, unfortunately. Yeah. Which is sad for many reasons, obviously, but also just because you could still be successful and, you know, yeah, well-loved oh, by yeah. fans. And uh, sometimes that's just, that doesn't matter. It's not about that. I'm just so. going to yep. say one thing. Successful. Go on, mate. I think he was doing all right for himself. He was doing cons, like I said. The lines for this guy at the cons, because mm. I was always like, "Who the fuck is this line?" Now, for? don't get me wrong. I'm sure he would have preferred to still be in a working actor. Yeah, that's what but, I mean. But or how many working, working actors? Actor? Well, I don't think so. I think not to the is, point he wanted to be. Funny. He was in a hit show when he was 20, People and now he's 40. Up for him as yeah. the Green Power right. Ranger. Yeah, okay. Oh, see, see, you in, make a valid was, point, uh, Luke, that Quentin Tarantino also made this week that we can talk about later. But uh, oh, interesting, yeah, mm. yeah, you're right. Okay, he was not in a huge amount of stuff. F- f- fine, no, but Most not many actors Power are. Jason. Like, um, right? Yeah, like, like you're lucky if you have one hit TV show in your entire career, yeah. and especially if it's nerdy enough that you can go to cons and make a career out of visiting cons. Yeah. Just put on your fucking green tights and go and get your paycheck. <laughs> yeah. Well, and again, it just goes to show whatever it was, yeah. something else it wasn't was going enough on for him. him. Yeah. And then, I mean, yeah, like all right. Well, he doesn't get it because stuff. of because of the. I mean, uh, well, I, I, personally, the the the, the most uh, memorable example of that is someone like Chris Cornell, where I'm like, yeah. the fuck? Why? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I'll never understand. Yeah. Impossible. Successful musician. 
uh, handsome beloved. cunt that's just loved Still by working. everyone. Yeah. Like literally on tour working yeah. at the time, yeah. doing what he loved. Mm. Uh, well, we thought. Yeah. Just never understand. And it. you don't like this band I'm in? Maybe you'll like two of these other bands that I'm also in that are yeah. very yeah, you know, successful. Why? Because everybody wants me to be in their band because I'm amazing. Yeah. <laughs> But, Except I'm dead now. So, yeah. so we've yeah. got one down. Jason, not going to get away. Okay, well, there's another actor, Mikey mm. Kuhn, uh, and that, that's spelled K U H N, not the other way. So I just want to make that perfectly it's clear, especially cheese. because of the context. Um, Mikey Kuhn is the last. <laughs> Looks worried people would think it was the cheese. <laughs> Which is no longer called that. Um, Mikey Kuhn was the last surviving actor of the classic film Gone with the Wind. He played Bo, the little boy. So the, the the little boy was an old man and now he's dead and that's it. No more cast members alive. That's interesting. Mm. Um, now, we have talked about this show on the podcast before. That's why I thought this was relevant. I hate Gone with the Wind. Mm-hmm. Go on. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, there's <laughs> many reasons to hate it. So I'd love to. I mean, there's a lot of reasons to dislike it, but why do you hate yeah. it? Is it because I'm of, not the, argue is it because of like the, the, the racism and the fact that they didn't allow any of the black cast to come to the premiere in Hollywood, et cetera, et cetera? It's long and boring. Yeah, fair. <laughs> it is both of those yeah. things. Yeah. Then, you know, you know, Dan well, Luke doesn't care about any of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> he, just, <laughs> he just hates black and white films. Yeah. No, it's one of the first films in color. Yeah. Not this, the photos in here are in black well, and white. It's, so it's a, yeah, because most people still had black and white cameras, but it was one of the first films filmed in mm. Technicolor, which is why they added in scenes that weren't in the book, like the mansion burning down, because someone went, guys, hear me out. Fire will <laughs> oh, look yeah. fucking amazing. <laughs> the James Cameron of that year <laughs> yeah, was like, right. we yeah. need to film this shit. Yeah, yeah. Well, they so, also remember, um, is it Lost Highway? David Lynch, where they'd finished filming yeah. in that cabin and then the, the DOP went, yeah. you know uh, what would look good is if that cabin burnt down. And he's like, it's not in the script. Yeah. He's like, could you make it a dream sequence? He's like, could you film it in reverse? <laughs> yeah, that was in his book where he said, yeah, the, the DOP was like, we could we could blow that cabin up. <laughs> it's like, do we have explosives? I'll check. Yeah, we do. We do, we do have some. Yeah, yeah. all right. We got it. We're in Vermont. Have we got everything we need? <laughs> Um, slight segue uh, before we continue Mm. on with Mikey Kuhn which is a great name Um, but uh, one of the staff or the crew of Rust who had quit before the fateful event um, has come out and said there were problems with the guns beforehand and one gun went off Hmm. while he was fiddling with the hammer Really? Yeah. Now I know all these gun experts have said that's not that can't possibly happen. Um, no, so he may not have but, been got it wrong or misremembered when he said I didn't pull the trigger. Yeah, maybe. maybe the gun was faulty. Yeah, some kind of fault, and and just fucking around with the well, hammer again, made it fire. I think it's one of the things to keep going back to. That wasn't the problem. The problem was there was a yes. bullet in there at all. Correct. Correct. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's yeah, missing. He muddied the, the water. Yeah. He yeah. yeah the water. He did. He. Yeah. yeah he. He took. He. He made the, a very simple argument into a broad spectrum, which you should never do. Yeah. Um, Mikey Kuhn, right. how so does Mikey he sit Kuhn, with you? Um, I'm having a look at his IMDb not well. page. He, okay. He's, he's got nothing. That Any I, episodes of Star Trek or the Twilight Zone how during many, the How many rounds of Fortnite did he win on a weekly basis? <laughs> That's right. Was he into Settlers at all? Uh, look. Sorry, he can't. No, he's not getting it. I don't know who he is. He claimed the fame okay. was, was the last person alive in a movie. <laughs> yeah. Not in a movie. Who <laughs> was in a movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not. The, yeah, mm. and, and not no like, one can uh, beat my. Not like, not like Kurt Russell at the end of the oh. thing. <laughs> <laughs> no one can beat my. Oh god, um, that's a good movie. Me on Fortnite. Kurt Russell. I've won. Better get Geek of the Week when he eventually dies. Oh goodness! Or he could just live forever. I was about That'd to say. Right. He sh- hopefully he'll never die. I got to watch Hateful Eight with Kurt Russell. Just you and just him sitting on the sofa. Just, just me. Is that him. the one where he um, smashed the guitar? Yes, it is. Yeah, what? just me, him, Quentin Tarantino, Samuel L. Oh, Jackson. There was a really expensive at- guitar that they got on set. And they ho- borrowed from a museum. Oh, um, yeah. He was yeah. playing it, and then he was meant to smash it, but they had a replica one that he was meant to smash. Oh, but, he but they didn't tell him that he had to and stop. And he just went, no, I'm feeling this one. I'm yeah, feeling this one, and it. I'm going, and he smashed it. And it was, 
and apparently i think there's jennifer jason lee in that scene the look on her face is genuine because she's like oh fuck you just fucked that (laughs) wow And and it's like one of these guitars like it's sure it was insured but it's one of those things it's insured but it's really is priceless because you don't yeah. get to replace an antique guitar. It's that's it. That's mm-hmm. the guitar. And and the the museum was pissed because they said, "Oh, it was an accident on set. Like something yes. fell on it." I was and about then they to watch the movie, yeah. and they were like, "Well, Hang that's on. not an accident." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you watch the theatrical cut of that or the extended cut? It was the theatrical. It yeah. was the premiere of it. In oh Sydney. wow! Yeah. Hmm. Did, did he? Because there was talk that he was going to release that. On streaming, but in a longer form as like an almost oh. mini series version. But do you know if he eventually did that? I kind of tuned out. I don't out. know. Well, just stick- no, I don't know. He's in the news this week, so we can but talk also about just that. Stick yeah. Have you heard that they're making a new escape from? Are they? Are they? I'm all in for that. Evidently, uh, I heard this week that they're making a new escape from. I don't know where it's from. There you go. God. But Snake is back. Just make it Detroit and I don't even have to make it in the future. Nobody shoots till this can hits the ground. So good. I lied. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a great old movie this week. You'll be not surprised at all that I just popped on Conan the Barbarian, which is one of my <laughs> favorite movies of all time. I was going to watch it's that for some movie. reason. It's so it good. was relevant for some reason. Oh, it, I know why. I'll tell you in a minute. Well, I only, I, I, it was in my head because I, I mean, I love Conan. Everyone knows this, but. Um, someone said the other day, I can't remember who or where I was reading it or maybe it was in a podcast, um, that Conan was a good movie, but then again, that's the kind of thing you would expect from Ridley Scott. I'm like, Ridley Scott didn't direct Conan. No. It was John Milius. Um, yes. but then I had to like, I'm like, wasn't it? <laughs> I had to look it up. No, it, um, it definitely was. But then of course, looking it up made me want to check where it was streaming, Disney Plus. And uh, so I popped it Is on. it? Yeah. Oh, in Such in, a great in, movie. In and your country. The, the reason I think that this movies from that era, like Conan the Barbarian, the sword and sorcery movies made in that era feel so otherworldly. When you watch Game of Thrones mm. or House of Dragons, they're set, they wear in the old timey costumes, but they're talking like, like we talk. Mm. And I know that makes sure. it a rich drama, but it also just makes it too relatable. When I watch Conan, <laughs> I'm like, this guy's living on another fucking planet to me. Like his motivations are <laughs> way off from what I would like, why do. Why did he punch that camel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought for a second they'd cut that for Disney Plus as well because um, it's later on in that scene than I remembered it being then you remember yeah and i was yeah, like did right. he just cut the bit where he punched the camel no it's in there it's in there i just forgotten that it was while he was high <laughs> it's an episode of this podcast called, called punching the camel i know we had a fan once say to me punching the camel dan punching the camel and i was like yeah i don't remember what that was from <laughs> but before I just we go the on, reason i saw on, of it Mickey Mickey Coon. just just quickly not kick it awake not okay, okay, all right just quickly the reason i thought of conan is because it's a documentary series on netflix a true crime documentary about conan? uh bodybuilders oh in, oh yes uh, i watched the first she, episode of that yeah where she killed her husband yes. and that uh, arnold came up in that and they had mm. a shot from conan that's where i thought of it was that was quite good that documentary okay did you watch all three episodes i did so i watched the first one and thought it was excellent and then halfway through yeah. the second one it got really really sad and I just couldn't yeah. watch it anymore. Like the the kind of the the sensationalist side of it was gone, and it was just a, a wife of... and a mum who had yeah. killed her husband, who was abusing her, and then spent twenty yeah. years in prison because it wasn't it just, technically just self happens, offense. They both just happened to be very famous bodybuilders yeah. with and these I, ridiculous careers. It broke and, my yeah. heart, and I couldn't keep watching it, so um, yeah. I, I abandoned it on that on that alone. Mm. Well, if you if you keep watching, you get to. I think maybe either episode three or later in episode two, where people go, well, actually, she was quite violent as sure, well, and it's right. and it's like yeah. basically pretty okay up in the air about the fuck even but happened. I turned it off when, and I think it's just uh, Luke. I, as a parent now, I just watch all movies and cool TV thing. differently. Like ev- everything's different now. So, is it, there's, and there's one bit where. Um, Okay, so for example, Conan the Barbarian. You know who I relate to the most now, Matt? In that fucking movie? 
the Go fucking on. king whose daughter goes off to live with that cult <laughs> and just gives all his fucking treasure to Conan. I'm like, yeah, man, I hear you. I hear you, dad. Mm. I hear you, dad. Um, it's called Killer Sally, Killer the documentary, Sally, just it. for the listeners. Yeah. yeah. Um, it was good. But the scene where she... They, they let her kids into the interrogation room. The cops go off to process yes. her and the kids come in and she's like, I'm going to jail, kids. And they're like, because you murdered dad. And she's like, yeah, because I murdered dad. Like, it just I, yeah. b- b- broke me. I know. And, and, the, and the son's like, just tell him he was a cunt. Yeah. And then she's he was like, like I've, what, I have told, what I've told him the that, times but he beat it's not you. that simple. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that simple, mate. And the kid's like, but, but, but oh, yeah, anyway, yeah. But here's tough. one of those ones, right? Just knowing from other documentaries how the American penal system works if she had just not said anything and got a lawyer and got the lawyer to talk for her, she might have yeah. got off. Because yeah. when the cops came in, she went, I murdered my husband. Like she used yeah. the word she was too on- murder. She was too honest. Right? Yeah. yeah she was too honest. And, and well, if, yeah, if you, 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 you get arrested, you invoke your rights, you don't say anything until you get legal representation, yeah. no matter she what. She talked to them. There's, you can see all the interrogation for. She talked to them for days without yeah. any. Just told them exactly what had happened, why yeah. she did it, how she did it, everything. And then she was at the end of it. There's literally a bit where she goes, "I suppose I should call a lawyer." And the cops are like, "Oh, you saying you want to get a lawyer?" Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> right. Because <laughs> the yeah. second they say now, that, they have to stop yeah, until you should have done that two days yeah. ago. Yeah. But we're not going to tell you that. But thank yeah. you for not doing it. Yeah. Anyway, there's one more candidate. One more. Maureen Karimi Nasseri. I don't know who that is. You might not know the name, but oh. you definitely would know the poster with Tom Hanks on it. You might not I have even seen it. this movie because this is one of the lesser Spielbergs called The I Terminal. I didn't even watch it. Uh, about a man who was at Paris airport when he became stateless because the country he was from no longer existed and mm-hmm. he lived out the rest of his life in the airport. Well, no. He did. He, no, he's not Geek of the Week, or no, he didn't live in the well, airport. He, he, he sort of had a well, chance. Well, no, he's not stateless. Then, he, he did become stateless, but then <laughs> eventually he got sick, and then he did go and live outside. Oh, in the car. But oh, then he? he just decided he was going to move back. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I liked it there. Like it was just to the airport. Yes. <laughs> so right, actually, and they I, let him. He he got sick, and he went to the hospital, and then the courts went like, look. Just let him live here. Like, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> let him live in the hospital. <laughs> no, no, but live in France. But then he just... Sure. He was like, <laughs> right. fuck the French. He went back and just started living in the, the terminal again. Well, he died in the terminal. He died there. You'll be pleased to know. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, that's sad. Yeah, no, and you're uh, right. Returned to live as a homeless person in the public area of the airport since mid-September after staying in a nursing home. Mm-hmm. He died doing what he loved. Basically, the whole by that point, the whole airport staff just knew who he was, that he lived there. They would give him food and look up. They, you know, no one yeah. was trying to move him on at this point. I guess it's like you know when people spend so long in prison that they're like, mm. "I'll go back in, thanks." Mm, yeah, that's just it's what I know. Yeah, it's probably like that. How do I cook my own gruel? What do you think? Mm. People have been in like prison for 20 years. Like, what are yeah. they meant what are you to gonna do? do? Like, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. he doesn't look like Tom Hanks, I'll say. No. Not, Tom not Hanks really. never looks like any of the real life characters he plays in movies, though. No, he doesn't even bother. Cause well, because it's, it's not about that. It's yeah, about correct. the fact that it's Tom Hanks. Except yeah. in Elvis, in which case. You really do wish they just Is got he him. That? To- he's the manager. Yeah. It's, it's, the You'd be forgiven for not knowing. Yeah. Because he's wearing a fat suit, a false nose, and he's doing some kind of yeah. fake, like, pan European accent. I think, they, I think they sent me a screener for but that. Yeah, I have heard. Um, oh, oh, you I should get, watch it, actually. I get, I get Blu-rays now. Oh, do you? It's the, not just DVDs. I got a copy of The Batman on Blu-ray no. as a screener, and I was like, thank you very much. Can the Series X play a Blu-ray? Because that'd be the only way I could play yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, uh, and you are destroying them as soon as you finish watching them, aren't you? Obviously. Yes, as it says. I'm, are they? I mean, I may never with finish watching them, but uh, some of them are. Yeah, mm. I mean, I put it on, and I was like, oh fuck, all right. Yeah, got to be, be careful about that. Yeah, yeah. But no, sorry, I can't give him geek in a week. I just if he didn't go back, <laughs> yeah, if he just stay there until he died. <laughs> like if he had a got, I mean, yeah, that's fine. Or if he had a just. Been there. That's but no. The fact that he got out and then went back that 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 ruined it for me. So there's he's no disqualified himself on that basis. I think wow. just to be clear, I think he he lived there for like thirty years until 
it finally his health made him Is go to hospital, true? and then he. Yeah, so it was from nineteen. He went back there to die. To it wasn't that he moved back. Yeah, yeah. He basically yeah went there to die because. He lived in the airport for 30 Actually, years. Actually, in 2006. So what is that? 20, 20 25 years? Still. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah all right. And you don't think no, that- I can see why he would go back, though. Come on, Luke. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you heartless prick. <laughs> uh, the man's dead and he was homeless. Give him Geek of the Week. <laughs> all right. No Geek of the Week this <laughs> week. I, 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 I don't want to. Wow. I'm not doing it. I don't want to. <laughs> you can't right. make me. No. All right. Well, All right. no geeks of the week. Um, go to patreon.com forward slash multiple nergasm. $10 a month gets you into the after party where we're going to talk about what R. Kelly did and did not eat for Thanksgiving dinner in prison. Riveting stuff. Uh, after playing his theme tune, yeah. Knock Off. We're, gonna, we're just going to list all the things he didn't eat. <laughs> I read this. It's uh, going to be a long episode this week. The, 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 um, the headline was R. Kelly forced to eat chicken. I was like, I'd watch that. I'd watch someone try to force him to eat chicken. No, it's, it's not that. Look, no. He comes to aeroplanes. He's yeah. not some <laughs> obscure religion that they can't eat chicken. I've never heard of that one. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Plenty of beasts can't be eaten. I don't think a chicken is one of them. Poor, mm. poor little fuckers. And also, when you start thinking about like, oh, why don't the Muslims and the Jews eat pork? Well, like, why don't you eat dog? They eat dog in Korea. Yeah. Like, you know what they I mean? Just like, don't want to eat Every it. Don't culture's worry about got it. their animals that they do eat and animals that they don't. It's just antiquity. We don't know why. Yeah. It's just, it's decided and that's what we're going with. It's like, Luke disagrees. Luke will happy. literally eat any animal. No, no, no. Like, he, eating horse is frowned upon, but there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all for this week. Thank you for listening and we hope you enjoyed the show. If you enjoyed it then please subscribe and iTunes to receive episodes automatically. We'll see you next time.